All right guys, today I'm gonna show you how to run macOS Sequoia Beta on your Mac while also keeping your installation of macOS Sonoma. So if we go up here to the Apple logo and we click about this Mac, as you see, this is an M3 Max MacBook Pro, 48 gigabytes of RAM, and the version of macOS is Sonoma 14.5. Now, first we need to download the macOS Sequoia Beta installer. So for that, you're gonna go to Safari and you're gonna go to mrmacintosh.com. Once you're here, you're gonna see a section for Sequoia installers. You're gonna scroll down and you're gonna download the latest one. The latest one as of the recording of this video is version 15.0, build number 24A5298H. This is beta four and it was released on July 24th. So for this, we're gonna download this. While that's downloading, what you want to do is go to Launchpad, go to the other folder, and you'll see Disk Utility. Open Disk Utility and click on Container Disk 3. Click the plus button on Add Volume. Title this Mac OS Sequoia. Once you type Mac OS Sequoia in, make sure the format is APFS and hit add. Once that's done, you'll see we have a new volume here called Mac OS Sequoia. Okay, now all you have to do is wait for the download to finish. Once that's done, we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. The Sequoia installer has finished downloading. Now double click it, it will open this. Click continue, install, authenticate with touch ID, and this should take not too long. Once this is done, we can move to the next step. And it's done. Click close, move to trash. Now it should be in our applications folder. Right here, install macOS Sequoia Beta. Double click that, continue, agree, agree. Now here is where you wanna select the volume you created. Macintosh HD is your Sonoma installation. So what you wanna do is click show all disks. And as you can see, here is the macOS Sequoia volume that we created. Now this is dynamic. So when you create a volume, it basically, you don't have to allocate space. It's a, a dynamic volume. So it will only take up the space on your Mac to install macOS Sequoia, which is around 14, 15 gigabytes. So once you selected macOS Sequoia or whatever you named the volume that you created, click continue, click your name, press install, continue, and type your password. Once your password's typed, hit enter, and it's going to begin copying the Sequoia beta files to that volume we just created. Once that's done, we'll be back. Okay, so it's now finished installing to the volume we created and your computer will automatically restart in 15 seconds. Click restart, continue, closing applications, preparing to restart. There we go, the computer is now restarting. You should see an Apple logo with a loading bar shortly. There we go, and it should load us into the macOS Sequoia setup screen. Okay, the loading bar is finished. We may get another one or we'll be directly in the macOS Sequoia setup. Let's see, this looks like a normal boot to me. Okay, and as you can see, here we are in the macOS Sequoia setup. So let's get through this and let's get to the desktop. And there we go, welcome to Mac. Continue, type your password for your other disk. Remember it in keychain, unlock, and boom. Here we are in macOS Sequoia. If we go to the Apple and about this Mac, you can see it's the same M3 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro with macOS version 15.0. And you see startup disk, Mac OS Sequoia. Now, if you would like to go back to Mac OS Sonoma, since you now have two versions of Mac OS installed on your Mac, you can now do that. All you need to do is click the Apple logo and hit shut down. Wait for it to shut down. And on Apple Silicon Macs, you are going to hold down the power button until you see loading startup options. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna press the power button. Continue holding till you see loading startup options. Now we can release the power button, wait for this to load. And as you can see, we have our two disks here, Mac OS Sequoia Beta, and this will be your Sonoma installation. So let's say you wanna go back to Sonoma. Click on that, press continue, let it load. And boom, there we are back in Mac OS Sonoma. Now let's say we wanna go back to Mac OS Sequoia, same thing. Shut down, wait for it to shut down. Hold the power button till you see loading startup options. Now we can release and we can select our macOS Sequoia volume and that'll bring us right back into macOS Sequoia. And boom, there we are, right back in macOS Sequoia. So guys, that's how you dual boot macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia beta 
on a single Mac. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day.